For over 20 years, the Atlantic Mayor's Congress has provided a forum for exchanging ideas and a unified voice for municipal leaders in Atlantic Canada. The Summerside Edition has a particular focus on addressing housing and homelessness with sessions engaging community, provincial, and national perspectives. I'm Alan Dale from Gale Force Winds. I gotta tell you, having a great time here in Summerside, Prince Edward Island at the Atlantic Mayor's Congress. Wrapping up day two, so excited about the level of conversation, collaboration, optimism in the room. Why don't you introduce yourself, tell us what you do. Sure, my name is Kathy Daigle-Gammon. I'm the Deputy Mayor of the Halifax Regional Municipality, and my district that I represent is Waverly, Fall River, Muscadabit Valley, and all of the beautiful communities in between. Yeah, they are beautiful communities that yes. you just described. Uh, Deputy Mayor, tell me about all the big and exciting things that are happening right now in the Halifax Regional Municipality. There's so many, and as you know, sometimes I'm going to tell you it's what perspective do you see it from. Right. But uh, so I think Halifax, our climate uh, program, and what we're doing to affect climate change and to get to net zero. Okay. I think it's probably one of the most ambitious plans. Okay. We have grown from you know two staff to an entire team of expertise that are really the leaders now, I think, in Atlantic Canada, if not Canada. So uh, it's a very impressive group of people working towards Halifax 2030, so that's amazing. The, if you're in Halifax, you're going to see cranes everywhere. Okay. So the growth is phenomenal. Uh, with that comes growing pains. And so the good part is that we acknowledge that they're growing pains and we're working towards what those solutions can be. Mm -hmm. The Halifax Accelerator Fund uh, recently was approved by council and then now by our provincial government. So we'll be moving, moving forward with that. Again, uh, what's your perspective? If you're a young person and you want to buy a house and stay in Metro, they're very happy to see this. Okay. If you're a property owner in Metro right now and you're looking at the changes and the densification that's going to come, there's huge concerns around infrastructure, mm -hmm. schools, parks, green space, all of those things that make a community and there is concern about what will my neighborhood look like? Mm -hmm. And so again, just you need to know what those things are in order to be able to provide some solutions for. The Cogswell District Energy, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, can't wait for people to come to Halifax and see what's gonna happen when that Cogswell project is finished. You know, it's taking a concrete jungle and turning it into a beautiful green space, looking at better transit routes, looking at better trucking routes as a response to that, and then looking at even some affordable housing within the downtown. And so changing from what was cement to now being something that is just a jewel that will become part of Halifax. So we're excited about that. Um, on a personal level, my background before I came into uh, politics was in the nonprofit sector. And so the fact that Halifax has approved and that we have implemented a vulnerable persons registry that is voluntary, I think is an amazing thing. We're seeing, talk about climate change and all of those things, we are seeing man-made events and nature-made events that are making people more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So to have a registry to make sure who needs attention when uh, and that it is at their invitation I think it's an amazing thing so wow a lot going on just a, a wee bit just just a wee bit uh, and I'm sure that I miss stuff like the naturalization programs right. and yeah so a lot uh, going on Deputy Mayor uh, tell me about you know <clears throat> Halifax is such a beautiful vibrant place I mean it's a go-to destination in Atlantic Canada for so many reasons right. uh, tell me one story of success that you're most proud of I often ask people pretend you're going to a potluck what's your best dish oh my goodness I, I think I want to say that uh, the best kept secret of Halifax is rural um, I already, you know, the Halifax waterfront is beautiful. I mean, let's face it, everybody comes from Peggy's Cove. Oh my goodness, that is a success story. The accessibility, the rebuilt of Peggy's Cove so that it's fully accessible, barrier free, <clears throat> absolutely a success story. And I guess the other piece is our hidden gems is the rural part of HRM is definitely not to be forgotten. Um, we've got, uh, lakes, we've got fishing, we've got hunting, we've got, you know, trails, we've got ATV trails that are amazing, um, and we've got hiking trails. It's just, 
you know, it's a paradise. And when you think about Halifax seems to have everything. We've got the ocean playground, you know, over the seacoast, and then we've also got the agricultural belt. Mm -hmm. So there is something for everyone in the Halifax Regional Municipality to enjoy. Deputy Mayor, we certainly appreciate your perspective. Thanks for coming on the show, and thank you for your leadership. Thank you. Appreciate it. For over 20 years, the Atlantic Mayor's Congress has provided a forum for exchanging ideas and a unified voice for municipal leaders in Atlantic Canada. The Summerside Edition has a particular focus on addressing housing and homelessness with sessions engaging community, provincial and national perspectives.